Um, I've got the whole team together. So guys, we have a couple guests with us um, this morning for, for uh, probably 30 to 45 minutes. We're going to walk through a little bit of a refresher, relaunch on Pulse for some of you that have some exposure to it. Uh, Katie, I, I know you've got the link and poked around, um, but you know I, I don't think we've looked at it very much together. So it'll probably be a lot of great new information for you. Um, so we have John Marling, who's, who's the president of Pulse, and we have uh, Benjamin Beaver, who is Mr. Vision, as you've heard him on the Vision calls. So Ben runs, uh, he uh, created, runs, uh, Ben, correct me here, uh, I'm trying to find the adjective, but leads the Vision team. Uh, That's right, so, Vision success. That's right. Thanks, Dave. Yep. So, so you'll hear from both of them. Uh, Ben, prior to, to taking on Vision, had a lot of success with, with the way that John's going to suggest that we use Pulse. Uh, and, and John and I met uh, last week or the week before and really using it to break the ice to get those appointments. Right? We've talked a lot about Vision. You guys are in there. You're making the proposals. We love that. That's great. To increase the activity, you need to increase the number of needs analysis you're doing. To increase the number of needs analysis we're doing, we need more appointments. This is gonna help us get more appointments. You guys all have 50 prospects identified. This is gonna help you move them through the funnel. This is gonna help you talk to the new prospect that we have no relationship with and quickly land them to a needs analysis appointment. So we have great information at our fingertips. John's gonna help us walk through how to get it, how to use it. Ben will jump in as to how it pivots and pertains and how they used it with vision. Um, I'm really excited for this. I think it's a little bit of the, the upgrade we, we need to help move more appointments through. Uh, so that, that's kind of why we're here and, and what we're doing. And I don't know if Ben or John's next, but I will tee you guys up to, to, to grab the ball. Well, let me, let me turn it over to Ben. And I appreciate very much, Ben, you taking time out of your busy, busy schedule to be with us this morning. Absolutely. It's, uh, this is a worthwhile conversation, and it's something that uh, I think uh, is, big, is big right now in terms of helping us uh, gain appointments and then ultimately lead to the solution sale. So, so I guess what I'm going to just dive in here is just you guys have, have probably heard my voice here a couple times over the past couple of weeks as we've been talking about transforming our sales culture around you know, really becoming customer-focused. Uh, Joe talked about being a customer-focused sales organization at the onset of the vision launch. And it's about shifting our focus away from the special sections and away from the one-off sales and shifting into audience and value and, and showcasing to our advertisers the types of audiences we can drive for their business and the types of results that we can establish for them. And Pulse is the key to the very beginning of every conversation. I do want to talk though why Pulse matters, especially now. And, and then I'm going to kind of segue into why Pulse just works. The first thing you have to realize is more than ever in our entire history, local businesses are really, really interested in the number of people in their immediate market that have the capability and the capacity of buying from them in the short term near future. And uh, listen, the uh, COVID basically just guaranteed that the entire world of marketing changed for our local advertisers and, and prospective clients. Listen, they need to know, especially as they're rolling back their capacities, I need to bring in not just the right amount of people, I need to bring, I need to bring in the right customers who are ready, willing, and able to buy from me. So let's, tie, let's talk about why Pulse just works for that. And we put the picture of the phone on there for a reason. Pulse just works in getting you appointments and getting you into a needs assessment really, really, really fast. Helps you cut through all the white noise that they're hearing. I think the last stat that I heard is the average local business receives between 30 to 40 phone calls or emails a week from a company trying to sell them marketing and advertising. Think about that, 30 to 40 sales calls a week from a company trying to sell them marketing and advertising. There's a lot of white noise out there there. There's a lot of voicemails that never get listened to. There's a lot of phone calls that never get returned. And there's a lot of emails that hit that trash or they are deleted before they're even read. Pulse changes the conversation because it makes them it about them and it makes it about their audiences who are going to buy in their category. It allows you to present value on the very first 
uh, interaction you have with the advertiser. <clears throat> we had a situation here in Madison where we had a sales rep's name was Tyler. T Tyler desperately wanted to, to start working with the attorney category, law firms, because it's lucrative, right? You, the average sale when you sell to a law firm is a pretty healthy deal, right? But was completely coming up dry, just trying to get an appointment. Couldn't get a single attorney to give him an appointment to talk through what our value proposition is, what our offerings are. Well, he turned to Pulse. And what he started looking at was specifically was around wills and trust attorneys. And what he found is that a very large percentage of our audiences said that in the next three months, they're going to buy or change or shift to a new will trust attorney. So what he did is he called the nearest, the first one he could find on Google. He presented the pulse flyer over the phone. And then he followed up with an email that said, Hey, listen, we just completed an attorney survey. And what we found was that there's 15,000 households that said over the next 90 days, they're going to look at a new will and trust attorney. I'd love to talk to you about it. The client who hadn't responded to any of his communication immediately responded and said, I want to talk to you right away. Tyler got on a Zoom call and two days later was in vision and closed a $15,000 deal with the law firm that just a few days before wouldn't even talk to him. Why did this happen? It happened because the focus of that sales call was 100% about what that client's need was and the number of eyeballs that Tyler could produce for them right away. So we call Pulse the tip of the spear of every sales call. So think of your sales call as a spear and think of the very tip as that Pulse audience research, that flyer, that teaser. It showcases that you have the ability to sell them a sophisticated audience solution, that you have access to data right now to show them exactly how many people are gonna buy. And behind the tip of that platform, that allows you to stitch together the solution set once you get the needs assessment. But as I said before, there's never been a time in our history where businesses have been more interested in who's going to buy from them. And you are the only company that's going to be, and the only sales team in your market that's going to be able to offer this kind of information. And that there are enough people to buy from them. I, I mean, <laughs> not, exactly. not just two and how many, but I mean, in, in this day, I mean, how many of them are concerned that nobody's even going to come out and that's we right. have survey data that shows that since COVID, I mean, this is recent data that shows over the next 90 days, these are people ready to make these decisions. This is people who know there's COVID. This is, this is a survey that happened since COVID uh, started. So this is recent current accounting for COVID data that shows, yeah, okay, you might have to do curbside pickup. You might have to adjust some of your business, but these are consumers that are going to need your product that say they want to buy your product or your service in the next 90 days. David, thanks so much. And the, as, just to even add more to that, and, and the best part is none of this is our opinion. <laughs> none of this is <laughs> <Right>. our opinion. <laughs> so like, listen, this is, this, is, uh, this is what local consumers said. And hey, by the way, it just so happens they happen to be our, our audience members here. But listen, this is real, Mr. and Mrs. Advertiser. And I can help you with this right away. I can tell you the feedback we've received from advertisers and you guys I'm sure have as well if you've used polls is how delighted they are that you have access to the information and how desperate they are for a solution set. Listen, their businesses are hurting or their businesses are thriving right now. Those that are thriving want to keep thriving. Those that are hurting want to put their business in a better position. And there's no way to do that besides bringing in new customers. So Pulse does that. Um, John, why don't we go to the, some of the success stories just real quick. Okay. There you go. So what I love about this, so this is actually, we had a reawakening in Racine, um, Kenosha. This is back, what, John, I think it was about July, right? Yep. Yep. Early July. So we had a reawakening, very similar to what we're having today. And I love this. I'm just going to read a couple bullet points here is using the pulse data for cold call prospect in the auto repair category a rep secured more time and more of an in-depth conversation and a needs analysis in the very first contact. Then transforming from that, showing the value of the potential customers for just two of their more higher margin repair work customers. For instance, that might be transmission or might be new AC system. And with the fact that the program I put together for them wasn't very expensive when compared to the amount of money they could earn back, boom, they were able to see that they could not only break even with the campaign, but they actually could make money from this. And, and just keep in mind that this is what the vision platform is gonna help you do and in conjunction with your Pulse tools. 
right? So you've got the pulse tool that's like the break even calculator that can help you showcase it and only takes as little as two or three customers to break even or grow their business. And then the vision tool is what you use to stitch your solution set together. But the bottom line here from, and this is right from, from the rep is, we took a cold call and turned that into a contract sale very, very quickly. This is an example here from, from Madison on the next screen around just some of the language that a sales rep used. And it was kind of funny. It, it kind of made me laugh a little bit, but it, it did get the sales rep an appointment. Uh, so uh, the sales rep said, so one of the categories that we asked about was law firms and attorneys. I talked about this earlier. And uh, my eyes almost popped out of my head. <laughs> the sales rep said over the email, when I saw the number of people that were in the market that were going to buy or switch. And what's incredible is this turned from a phone call, voicemail, email into that Zoom call, which then turned into a vision proposal, which then turned into a live campaign. And I, I had an opportunity that the rep had invited me to sit in on that needs assessment. The very first thing the client did when that he opened that call was, tell me about this survey. I want to hear more. Tell me more. <laughs> and it quickly went from, so listen, yeah, we just completed the survey. We asked the questions that you'd like to ask, including if you're going to switch to a new will and attorney. And they said, okay, but so Tyler, you know, tell, how do we reach these people? And that's when we got into the needs assessment. Well, how far do you want to go geographically? What is your best customer look like demographically? And then from that, Tyler was able to program that right into vision and then be able to get back on Zoom with them and show them how, how we can do that. But the whole conversation started with the audience that mattered to the client, which is people who are going to buy from them. All right, so next slide, John. Okay, you got it. So, so let me just kind of recap what we've heard from our reawakening markets, especially ones that are using vision to help close. Be the ultimate pulse champion for your client. Uh, they're counting on you. Listen, the only way that your client can see these, this wonderful research around how many people are going to buy from in their category is from you. There's no other source of this information. They're not going to get it from Google. It doesn't exist on Facebook. It's nowhere except with you. It's in your hands. So be that champion, showcase it, show it to them, share it with them. It doesn't cost us anything to share this information with the clients and it doesn't cost them anything to receive it. So make a commitment to show your advertiser what the opportunity is for their business in the next 90 days and continue to transform all of your sales calls by using pulse to gain appointments and get into needs assessments and by using vision to show your sophisticated audience solutions, lead with audience and showcase value. And then I'm, I got to put a big plug on this one. John Marling and his team put together a wonderful pulse certification. It's a chance for you to go and have some uh, learning space on your own time where you can actually learn about the pulse tool and get yourself certified. You'll be confident in the tool. You'll know how to talk. Uh, so, John, I think with that, I'll, I'll throw it back over to you and to kind of give us a summary. Okay. Well, I sure appreciate, Ben, your real world um, sharing with us this morning. It's awesome working with you. And a quick summary, you know, of the reawakening, you know, with the leaf papers in the upper Midwest. Number one, like Ben said, tip of the spear in today's world. And I love what you said, David. It shows them there's enough customers, even with COVID. Tip of the spear every single time. That leads into their willingness to share information to help you prepare a needs analysis to really help target that opportunity for them. Like Ben said, when they see the opportunity, they immediately want to know, how do I reach them? Okay, and then you share your specific vision proposal targeted to that opportunity. And then the pulse break even tool is a very, very effective means with the business to take away the fear, the risk of signing a contract. And I'll show you that in just a second. So it's simple as one, two, three, four, one. Start with the opportunity for them, your audience value. Two, help target the specific um, opportunity. Share the vision proposal and then 
get it easy for them to say yes by taking away the fear. So simple as one, two, three, four. I want to reiterate, and Ben, I want to thank you very much for, for being with us this morning. And you're welcome to continue. I know that you're you know very, very busy. But I just want to reiterate, today is a unique time. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity for each of you, of you because now is the best time ever, ever to help your local businesses. I was an ad rep once, my mission, my goal, what gave me the greatest satisfaction every day was helping local businesses. Wow, what a great time today because there's never been a time that your businesses need help and assistance from a friend like you. And that's where the information comes in. Oops, went the wrong way. Paul's, all Paul did, it's really simple. We just asked the questions the business would ask. So think about it for a second. A realtor would want to know, do you plan to list a property? Do you plan to buy a property? Do you plan to change and get a new realtor in the next 12 months? Obviously a furniture store. Do you plan to shop at a furniture store in the next 90 days? What do you plan to buy? Living room furniture, bedroom furniture. Because of that uncertainty, every single business category wants new, current, fresh information. They want a crystal ball. They want some insight, some clarity into the next 90 days. The good news is, and I think David just mentioned this, we just completed the Pulse COVID Impact Shopping Survey across the United States. We did an original survey in March with 200 categories. We just expanded it. And the survey we just completed has over 550 business categories. And it's extremely timely with and for the business because we asked in the next 90 days, what do you plan to buy? The data that you have now live, the shopping data, is from newspapers like yours in the state of Washington. We have over 600 sample completed of newspaper print and digital visitors. My recommendation on the research, and Ben, ben said it beautifully, is make sure they understand it's their research. So when you're with a realtor or a legal firm and you've called them on the phone like Tyler did, make sure they understand it's legal research. Quite simply, all we did was ask the same questions they would ask. We asked legal questions. When they understand it's their research about and for their business, that changes everything. On the other hand, if you were to pick up the phone and call and, and say, you know, the, we just did a legal survey, you know, we just did a survey, they would think it was your survey and their defenses go up. So please, when you pick up the phone, you're there in person, make sure they understand, we ask the questions they would ask, so they get immediate buy-in. Here's a quick overview of some of your Pulse tools, and then we're gonna go live and do a tour on how to use Pulse to fill your pipeline by getting more appointments. The first tool we have for you, tip of the spear, is the Pulse Teaser. And here's an example Pulse Teaser. What pops off the page? 702. That's 702 household opportunities in this example here for a remodeling contractor. Next three months. If you're a remodeling contractor, that obviously gets your attention. And that's what Tyler used when he picked up the phone and called legal you know, attorneys focusing on wills and trusts, shared with them the big number, the opportunity. It's really simple how Pulse gets that. We just asked, do you plan? What, what are your shopping plans of your household in the next three months? That gives us the percentage you plan to buy. So in this example here, 4.6% said they plan to get a remodeling contractor in the next three months. We just multiply it by the number of households you reach to give you the opportunity for the business. That's the tip of the spear. The second opportunity we have for you is the Pulse Flyer. It's kind of like a super teaser. In this example here, once again, you see the big number, 702. That's the household opportunity. That's what's in it for them. That's their opportunity. That's why they get so excited and they want to know more. 
And that's what the Pulse Flyer delivers is more detailed shopping information about and for their business category. See, like you see here in this remodeling contractor flyer example, Pulse also asked about what are your specific remodeling plans? Remodel a bathroom, replace a deck, remodel a kitchen, add a room, general remodeling. They love this stuff. And this is extreme, it's almost magical in finding a solution, a needs analysis for the business. Because I've had so many times when I've been engaging with a business with a flyer, they say, oh my gosh, look at the opportunity for remodeling bathroom. I should be advertising remodeling bathrooms. So in summary, the flyer is extremely effective. Tip of the spear, engagement with information about and for their business, the opportunity, and specific details. Quickly, I wanna show you the break-even calculator, and then we'll go live and show you how it works in the real world. All the break-even calculator does, and it's very, very important, is it shows the business with their information how few customers they need to pay for the campaign. It takes away the fear and the risk. Why? Because we just saw there's 702 customers who plan to get a remodeling contractor, as we saw a moment ago in the example. But then in the break-even calculator, with their information on their customer value, their cost of goods, with then their net customer value, after taking out the cost of the furniture, for instance, it calculates out how few customers they need to pay for the campaign. This is magical because they realize, oh my gosh, there's no risk here. I'm absolutely going to get more than 18 out of the 702 that we saw in the previous example. And so the break-even calculator is the fourth piece of the Pulse Flow program for you. I want to now quickly go over why now was the best time to get appointments. Pre-COVID, businesses in Longview had a darn good idea of what would be happening in the next 90 days because they had history. There was normalcy. They could take a look at what happened last November, December and pretty well predict what would be happening in this November, December. But the pandemic has changed everything. And obviously there's ongoing uncertainty with the new rules and regulations just announced in Washington. So now today, they don't know. And that's why every business in your community, and Ben said it, they're desperate for information about and for their, their, for their business. And so that's why this information is so unique and timely in setting up and getting appointments for you. I'm gonna go live on your Pulse program, but here's some of the things I'm gonna cover. Number one is prospecting. We've got some unique tools and resources for you to identify the business categories that are most closed today by other ad reps just like you. Then we'll show you how you can put those businesses you've identified as good prospects into your own call plan or call list. Then how do you engage with them? Tip of the spear, what to say on a phone call, an email follow-up, show you the closing tool, and then a quick overview as Bren mentioned, about the Pulse Training and Certification Program. So let's go live. So I'm gonna to go to your site in Longview and we'll take a look at you know, some of the tools and how to get more appointments. And by the way, if you don't have or you can't remember your Pulse login, send me an email, marling, M-A-R-L-I-N-G, marling at paper.net and we'll get you set up right away. So first, let's find some prospects for you. So right on your home page, you've got multiple sources. One is COVID-related business categories. So let's click on that, and it identifies specific business categories that have been most sold since March, the start of COVID. So right down here are the 20 most sold business categories by other ad reps across the country. Number one, community organizations. Number two, realtors. Number three, banks. Number four, pizza. You get the idea. This is the low hanging fruit right at your fingertips. I've also put together a list of the top 25 categories 
that I would recommend you contact. And so now, how do you get a specific list of businesses within your area? No problem, you just click on find. And up will come, right within the Longview area, a Google mashup of businesses, in this case, pizza businesses. Can you change the geography? Absolutely. You can just re-enter a different zip code here or change and put in a different community name. And so right at your fingertips are a list of businesses. The next step that I would suggest is, let's put together a call list, a prospect list. And remember, Tyler in Madison focused on a category wills and trust legal firms. And how did he put together a list to make it easy to follow up? He just added them to a call plan. So I'm clicking on Mill City Grill. I'm clicking on Urban Salon and Grill Saloon and Grill, um, Chinese Garden Restaurant, Arby's, Union Square, uh, Leonardi's Pizza. And then I go up to my call plan right at the top and right at my fingertips is my personal call plan. Now the beauty of this is it gives you a way to easily manage your prospects in the pipeline. But you can have this on your screen and look at how fast it is to create a teaser or a flyer. You just click right here, you just mouse over and you just click on view teaser and up comes your teaser. As simple and as fast as that. You can also, and let me go back here, and I see there's a little internet glitch this morning. So I'll click off here on the teaser, go back to my call plan. And I apologize for last week, I lost my electricity. I live in the coast mountains and my internet is problematic. And so now, let me show you how easy it is to create tip of the spear once again, a flyer. So click down here on Uber, Urban, Saloon and Grill, click on View Flyer. And it's as simple and as fast as that to create a flyer with the information about and for their business. Now let me show you a couple other quick things with the flyer up here in live. You can change the audience. So you can click here on the editing pen and you can select different combinations of audience options that you wanna present the opportunity for that business. You can also click here on custom audience and put in a specific combination, or maybe you've got a special you know, project. You can put in the audience name, label it, and then put in the number of households reached. Simple and as easy in that. What's really exciting about this, and Ben mentioned it, when a business realizes you've got information about and for their business, they wanna know more. And in a Zoom webinar, they are looking at your screen. You can click here on the editing pen and up will come access to the research, okay? And so you've got information from the just completed Pulse COVID Washington survey what else would you like to know? Well, take and bake pizza. I'd like to know about that. I'd like to know about, let's say hamburgers. You get the idea, right at your fingertips. You're the expert, you've got all the information about and for that business category and you're able to put together a custom business opportunity report for them. Let me click off here on the flyer if I might. And by the way, the flyer is just a web page. And so you can highlight the web address of this flyer and email it to them. Or you can click over here on the email icon and it creates a email for you with the web address of that flyer you just created. So it's as simple and easy as that. So what I'd like to do is go back to the prospecting tool, show you a couple other prospecting options for you. Probably the most popular is hot prospects ranked by business type. Pulse is unique in that we've got over 600 publications and about 5,000 ad reps across 
North America using the program. And so every time an ad rep creates a presentation, it automatically records it for that business category. And then they, when they put in what happened, you know, did they sell it, how much, et cetera, it records that. And so these are the business categories over the last year that are most sold. And so you can look down through here and identify, and this is where I'm sure Taylor, Tyler got the idea in Madison to contact legal firms. Why? It's number 11 out of 550 categories most sold across North America. Look at financial advisors. That's one of my recommendations because in today's world, financial planning is more timely than ever. So you click on hot prospects, up comes the list of business categories, you know, most sold. You click once again on find, and you immediately get a list of businesses. And then once again, you can add them to your call plans. You're creating your own custom call list. So we're adding, in this case, some financial planners to our call list. Once again, we can click on call plan. And now on our call plan, right at your fingertips, you've got the ability to just click on view flyer and you now got the flyer information to pick up the phone and call this financial planner and start with tip of the spear. You know, I thought you might like to know, you know, times are really uncertain, but we ask the questions you would ask. You plan to use or change a financial advisor over the next three months. We've got 11,222 households. Talk about eyes popping out of your head. That's huge. Every financial planner would love that information. That gets their attention. That's tip of the spear. That starts the conversation. And then they want to know more. And so you've got information on market money funds, mutual funds, common stock. You've got even more financial information for them. It's a wonderful tool and a resource for solution engagement with the business. Because look at this, the person might say, what do you have on city and state bonds? You know, what information do you have about non-US stocks, options trading, et cetera? And so with them, for them, you can create a custom opportunity report for them. Now they realize what the opportunity is. It goes right into your needs analysis. Like Ben said, geographically, where do your customers come from? Who are your best customers demographically, et cetera, et cetera. It's a phenomenal resource and tool to not only start the conversation, but it builds their confidence and their willingness because they see you as a partner, a friend, an ally, an expert. And so they're much more willing to share information about and for their business so you're able to put together a very effective and targeted vision proposal for them. And so now I'd like to show you, as promised, you've now got the uh, prospect list put together, you've started the conversation, you've done the needs analysis, you've done your vision proposal, and now you want to help them say yes. So you just click here on the Pulse Closing Tool. And you can do this on the phone, by the way. And I'll show you in just a second how to put the Pulse Closing Tool on your phone. So let's say we're presenting a $12,000 vision program to a furniture store. It's a 52 week program. I asked them, the furniture store, what is the value of a new household who would come in and shop at your furniture store? You get a new furniture store customer at your furniture store. What's the value? What are they going to spend over the next 12 months? Okay. Ask them. It's their information. And they say, well, 2,500, okay? But we know you've got to pay for the furniture. What's the cost of the furniture? What's your cost of goods? Well, around 65%, okay? Okay, so you make about $875 net customer value. Yeah, sounds about right. Look at that. You only need just 14 customers, you know, out of the 11,000 we reach who in the next 90 days are going to shop at a furniture store. With this level of consistency and repetition and reach, do you think you're gonna get at least 14? I've had so many businesses when I've 
when I've engaged with them with the closing tool, they say, well, that's a no brainer. And you've just made a sale. The benefit of the closing tool is with them for them, they realize that yes, they can, because it takes away the risk and the fear. They realize how few customers they need. You might ask, well, what's the little thumbs down? Well, there's some ordinary advertisers out there. Well, I don't think so. Well, then you ask them, what do you think would be the fewest number of new customers you would get over the next 12 months? Well, I think six, okay, so six customers. Well, look at that. Six customers at your net customer value of 875, they just agreed to a $5,200 campaign. And so it gives you the additional engagement of a business who said, well, I don't think so. Well, what do you think is the worst case? And they end up selling themselves. And so how do you put the Pulse closing tool on your phone? You can put Pulse on your mobile device. Just click up here on help. And then come down here to um, FAQ. There it is, FAQ. And how can I add Pulse to my mobile device? Click on that. And here's the simple instructions to put Pulse on your iPhone or your Android. Okay. And so now let's go back to your dashboard, if I might, and chat a little bit about the Pulse closing, not closing, the Pulse training and certification. As Ben said, this is your tool and resource. There's a lot of elements and depth and breadth to your Pulse resource. We put together a very simple but effective sessions, training, if you will, for each of the Pulse features and components. When you initially log in, you click, yes, I want to start the training, okay? And then as you go through it, each one of the sessions, there's a short little video, and then there's assignments for that session. So I watch the video, and then you confirm. The whole purpose here is to get Pulse certified, okay? And so you go through the sessions, there's a little uh, training about where do the numbers come from, little background, Q&A on the research, prospecting, call planner, teaser engagement, et cetera. It goes through the sales process. So I would highly recommend that you at your convenience and leisure go through and get the knowledge and the depth of experience with the Pulse training program. Last one I wanna show you, and wanted to keep this to about 45 minutes today, is the Pulse reporting program. You've got the ability to track and record your use and results with Pulse. And so every time you create a teaser or flyer, you are then able to view it right on your home page. Okay? And then you can record right over here. You click on the navigation dots, and we created a flyer for Urban Saloon and Grill. And then you can put in, you mark it as engaged. I use the flyer. I use the teaser in a phone call. You just click on marked as engaged and you put in the date that you engaged with the teaser or the flyer. And you just put in, you know, November 17th today and click set. It's as simple as that. Then after you presented it, you can come back in. You've now went out there and followed up with your vision proposal. Then you can come in and you can mark it as sold. You click on mark as sold. Let's say it's today also. You click on set. You can put in the sales value, 12,000, okay? And then you can put in, is this a new sale, renewal, or split between new and renewal? It's a new sale. And then you click set, okay? And now you've got pulse points. You're getting benefit, acknowledgement that you closed urban saloon and grill with your Pulse program. You can also, up at the top, under reporting, you click on reporting and all of your presentations are listed for you. And then you can go through and once again, just highlight and click the appropriate function. You can also, by the way, edit the presentation, 
You can mark it as they said no. You can delete the presentation. And other functions is that you can also create accounts. You don't have to use the mapping, you know, the Pulse project, but the Pulse prospecting. You just click on accounts and you can click on add new account and just put in the business name. If you want, you can assign the business type and let's say it's an auto paint shop and then add the account. Okay. And then you can come back in, access that account. You can create presentations. You can enter information about and for that business. It's a cool little tool. And so in summary, and then I'll turn it back over to David, is Pulse is your resource. Pulse is a unique opportunity, tip of the spear, in today's challenging world for your friends out there. They are desperate for your help and assistance with information about and for their business. And I love what you said, David. This is there's enough customers for you today, even given the significant impact of COVID. So let me give you my email again. It's marling, M-A-R-L-I-N-G, marling at paper.net. So on behalf of Pulse, I wanna thank you. I'm more than happy to answer any questions this morning, but let me turn it over to Dave for any wrap up. Yep, yep, uh, thank you, John, I appreciate it. Uh, ben, are you still on? Nope, jumped off. Okay. Uh, well, anyway, guys, stuck, I was stuck on mute. Sorry. Hey, about there he that. is. <laughs> hey, man, I really appreciate it. I just wanted to thank you too. I and I introduced Ben wrong earlier. I called him Ben Beaver. Ben, ben Beaver is with Second Street, and I just had an email come in from him, so it, <laughs> it rung my it rung my it, bell wrong. You know this what? Ben it's, Blackwell. But Dave, it's a B, so it's okay. It's still Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I got the initials right, so there was a double B. I mean, all this alliteration just completely <laughs> threw me. I, I should not have been checking my email 30 seconds before introducing him. Uh, that, that's what did it. But anyway, uh, I, I've seen this information be so helpful at a number of different sites. Uh, ben and I were, you know, 10 years ago in another life climbing the ranks in, in scripts. He was in Texas and I was in Florida. And uh, I didn't have this data then. And, and I don't right. know that he did either. And while we were quite successful, this would have been so helpful in those markets. So uh, we, we, we have industry leading tools in a, in a really small market. So, I mean, guys, we can make a pretty dynamic impact by using this stuff. Your, your, your radio station friends out there don't have this level of data. You know, they, they play on relationships. We have data. It's not to beat the dead horse, but, this is what customers around the country are telling anyone who's doing a survey on them. It could be Burrell, it could be Kelsey, anyone who takes surveys of small businesses. The number one stuff they need is information related to their industry. And the number one thing they want from a media executive is knowledge of their industry and business. There's nothing you can put in front of them that'll build your credibility faster than information related to their industry and their business. So, uh, I think you've seen it. We've done some of it. But as you have this level of data, you're going to see pretty quick engagement and people willing to sit back down with you uh, again. Because if you had that, they want to see what else you got. And then you have a great needs analysis and you knock their socks off with vision and what we can put in front of them. Um, using, our, using our tools, we're going to win and we're going to win a lot. So thank you guys for jumping on. Uh, do you guys have any quick questions for, uh, for John or Ben while they're on? Okay. All right. Well, we know how to get a hold of you guys if we do. So I, I certainly appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. All right. You too. Talk Bye. soon. Bye.